Hi guys, today I've got a haul video for you, um, mainly fashion with a few beauty bits. Um, just quickly comment on my hair, I've literally just walked out of the shower after washing my hair so it's really wet and if by the end of this video it's massive, I apologise. Um, but I'm going to get started. Um, these are things I've bought over the past sort of, few weeks, last month, um, just some bits and bobs really. So the first thing, um, I actually put a photo of this on Instagram and got loads of comments and it's this belt and it's from Topshop so it looks like this at the front it's just a buckle or the back and then it's got studs all along and it's the sort of studs that aren't pointed they're sort of rounded off at the edges um, and it's their gold studs on black belt and it's a thin belt um, I don't know if it's meant to be sort of round higher up or lower down but I got it in a small so that I could wear it sort of higher up um, because that's where I like to wear belts when I'm wearing dresses and things like that. I don't really wear belts when I wear jeans and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's just like that and I really like that. I can't remember how much it is but I don't think it was crazy amounts. Um, and then something similar to that, I didn't really get these on purpose to go together, I just like them both, um, is this bag from Zara which I absolutely love. I bought this as soon as I saw it. Um, it can kind of be used as a bag or a makeup bag because it's small enough to be a makeup bag but inside it's got um, like card holder spaces so it's probably meant to be like a clutch bag um, but it's black sort of leather feeling, it's not actually leather with gold studs and the same sort of studs that are like blunt not pointed and um, so this is from Zara and it was only £20 like I think that is the most amazing bargain ever I literally bought it straight away and just think it's such a good deal and it's really nice material and um, I wore it as a bag the other night um, actually with the belt which I don't really haven't quite decided if that's allowed or not but it looks alright um, and I got some compliments on it um, but yeah it just felt really nice good quality bag and like 20 quid from Zara I really think that's so good so um, if you need like a small bag or a nice makeup bag I'd recommend going to look at this they have them like hanging up they also had a cream one with sort of rose gold studs which is really nice as well. Um, I also got some shoes so I have these boots from Urban Outfitters which are my favourite boots but they've sort of broken like around the heel there's a massive hole in it and every time it rains I just get soaking wet feet so I've been looking for new boots for absolutely ages but then our summer came so I sort of just forgot about it but then you know what the weather's like here it starts raining so I just really wanted to have some boots for when it's not hot and I went to Selfridges shoe galleries and sort of just looked everywhere ended up getting some from Topshop that I actually looked at a while ago um, they're gonna look absolutely massive on camera but they look nice on they're like this so they've got a tiny bit of a heel but they're pretty much flat and then they've got two buckles and you can sort of see through to the shoe which is cool because you can either like wear low socks and then you can see your ankles or you can wear like coloured socks which could be quite cool um, and the straps go all the way around to the other side as well which I really like um, and I think these are leather they should be for how much they were, they were like £75 Topshop shoes are always really expensive um, but yeah, these are size 6, they look absolutely massive I'm always worried about shoes looking big on me um, especially because I have quite skinny ankles so I was worried how like clunky these are but they look nice on, I like them with like jeans or you can even wear them, I quite like wearing like heavy boots with sort of quite delicate dresses I like that contrast um, in the look so yeah, I really like these um, so those are the shoes I also got from Topshop um, some more jeans, I love their Lee jeans, um, I used to wear Jamie's but they sort of got quite baggy and started falling down and Lee's are a bit tighter which I really like and they're high waisted which is good for the love handles so these are the jeans that I got, they're dark khaki green if you can see um, really skinny and then at the ends they're sort of folded up um, with like the darker green on the inside really 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 nice actually I think I'm gonna wear this today I just had to show you so I had to change out of them but they're really they're really tight when I first get Lee jeans from Topshop they're so tight I can't breathe in them but they do stretch a lot so it's better to get a smaller size than you actually are um, so yeah I really like those I think they're nice to wear with like black tops 
white tops, like they go with everything and they're a bit different to just blue jeans and black as well, as well a bit like boring so I like these and they'll be good for autumn as well. And then actually a top that I got really goes well with those jeans and this is from Zara and it's a grey t-shirt with quite a low v-neck and then it's got little leather sleeves and the thing I like about this as well is actually quite long okay, it looks much longer on camera than it is it's just sort of a bit longer than your average t-shirt I don't really like wearing short t-shirts so I really like this one it's quite a heavy material so it hangs well as well so yeah it's just a little t-shirt with uh, like fake leather sleeves and it's sort of a dark grey it goes like that and I really like that and that looks really nice with the green jeans probably with the boots as well but it's a bit hot today for boots so I'll probably wear the t-shirt and the jeans today I'm really happy with those two actually um, and then something I got which I haven't quite decided if I want to keep it yet but I think I do um, it's this jacket from Zara I've seen these jackets for ages and I've always liked them but I just never really bothered trying any on and I tried this one on the other day and really liked it so it's like a stripy blue and white jacket with sort of rolled up sleeves and then, oh my god, it's going to be really hard to show on camera but it sort of goes in at the waist it's like, oh god, you really can't see it, it's like a short jacket it's also got little studs on the shoulders which I haven't quite decided if I like those or not, I think it's a bit tacky but you can't really see it that much so maybe if I put it on I'm going to put it on for you. It's kind of like this. So, it's like a short jacket. It can be kind of like smart or casual, which, I, which is why I like it. I don't know if you actually got to see that at all, but it's like a short, smart, casual jacket. Um, quite good for this sort of in-between weather. Um, I like that. It was £30 from Zara, so I haven't quite decided if I'm going to keep it or not, but I do quite like it and it's going to be quite useful, I think. And then I've just got a few beauty bits as well. I um, went into Boots when I was in Westfield, because it's one of the bigger ones, and I picked up two things from Nip and Fab, mainly because of Barbara from Persian Babe. She always talks about this pistachio sundae dry skin fix body butter and um, they actually do a really small size, they do a big pop, they also do this little tiny one so I thought I'd get this to sort of try it out um, and it has quite a strong like pistachio smell and it's like bright green um, I've nearly finished this so I'm going to save talking about it for my empties video because it's nearly finished but um, I also got hand cream which is the dry hand fix brightening hand cream um, this doesn't say it's pistachio but it smells the same to me as the body butter, so it's probably pistachio flavoured or scented. Um, I quite like this, I'm still not sure how I feel about the scent, but I'll come on to that in another video. So that's the hand cream, it's actually massive for hand cream, it's probably too big for handbags, so I keep it next to my bed. And then the final thing is this brown sugar lip treatment from Fresh. So Fresh um, is a brand that actually people from America will probably know better, because it's an American brand, I think. Um, actually, I think someone, the lady in the shop was telling me the owners are from somewhere else, but it sort of was started in Boston in America. So they have it a lot in Sephora and stuff, but there's only one shop in the UK and it's in London. And I went there yesterday and the first thing I did was get another one of these because it's my favorite lip balm ever. Um, it looks like that. It says sugar, fresh, and then it's the sugar lip treatment with SPF 15. And the last one I had was like a small one I got in a Sephora set, and this is a big one. And they do all different colours that are really nice. My mum got the coral one, but I just like the plain one, and I use it mainly at night. Um, and I'm wearing it now, it's just the best lip balm ever. It works like a treat. So um, I'm really happy I got that. It's quite expensive for a lip balm, but I think it's worth it. Um, and it's really nice packaging as well, it's like matte. Um, so yeah, I think that's everything for my quick little fashion haul. I hope you've liked seeing everything and thanks for watching.